Follow me, follow me, I invite you to come with me now to Notre Dame de Paris, the famous cathedral. What a wonderful subject to sketch, but also scary, rich and complex and fascinating. Let's sketch it loose. Because you know me, I never want to lose the pleasure of sketching by throwing myself into something tedious and not enjoyable anymore after a while. But uh, this practice and this video is uh, once again the chance for me to share with you that we can make a sketch quickly and having a kind of successful impression even of such a complex uh, building. Tell me what you're waiting for, what you waiting for, tell me what you waiting for, what you waiting for. So after jotting on the paper a bit of the structure of uh, the building, I started to add a bit of a people at the same time as sketching uh, the bottom of the cathedral so that I wouldn't forget to include them and that I could handle rather well the kind of overlapping between the people and the bottom of uh, the monument. My fever, the former. When sketching a crowd or several people together, it's uh, nice to try to give the depth uh, to the sketch by uh, using several scale of the people, some closer to you, some more in the distance. But you have to pay attention about the scale of the characters and how they fit uh, with each other, so that uh, one doesn't look like he's uh, floating in the air or something. We are usually told that we have to align the heads uh, together, which is quite uh, right if you are standing, but because here I am uh, sitting, I am aligning the character more or less uh, to the height of my uh, look, of my eyes. So my eye level creates uh, people that are more or less aligned by their waist. This means that for the people closer to me, which appear bigger, their heads are higher and their feet lower in the sketch. So this sketch uh, took me 20 minutes uh, to make and I am sharing it with you at a real speed but with uh, some cuts which means that uh, I removed uh, just a few moments where the pen is not uh, doing anything like when I am observing the monument or thinking about the next uh, thing I am going to sketch. But I think it's quite interesting that each stroke you can see is a real speed, real time, because it makes you realize that even if I make some poses in between, when I am making a strokes, it's a quick, it's a dynamic, and that's what makes uh, the loose quality of the sketch. By the way, it's quite hilarious that the strokes you just uh, saw me make are meant uh, to evoke these intricate, uh, wonderful carvings. Then there is a row of a statue, really long, long row of a big statue at the top of the doors. And at first I uh, started sketching them a bit in a boring way, I was a bit bored about it. Then I realized that it would be fun to kind of create a link between the passerbys underneath in front of the monument and the statues. So I started just uh, sketching this statue as if they were the passerbys. And I had more fun sketching this uh, sculpture like people. And I had But more oh, fun so many of them, the some are really, like really people. loose, just a kind of a silhouette. The interesting thing with a kind of a repetitive practice like that is that you have to get looser and looser as you go. It really forces you to loosen up. Look how some of these really are kind of a scribbles, just, you know, strokes like a signing. I really like uh, this uh, impression of uh, calligraphy and signing in my uh, sketches. Another repetitive task with this kind of a small architectural uh, feature, like a really small arches. Once again, the trick is uh, simplify and making them looser and looser as you go. One of the main messages I would like to share with uh, this uh, sketch is that it's the overall uh, structure, the overall impression of the monument that counts rather than each uh, detail. She said the haunted always dims to So in fact, each stroke looks like nothing, but the whole thing looks like something. At the secret. Tell me what you waiting for. What you waiting for? Tell me what you waiting for. 
As usual, I am using my Foodanib Fountain Pain, the seller demanded food info in the description box, and it's so handy to get some nice calligraphic strokes and also to make this kind of uh, thick black areas without having to switch off uh, pens all the time. I alternate between playing with continuous line and broken line with kind of loose edges and a thin stroke, thicker areas to create contrast and dynamic in the sketch. I keep dividing the structure of the monument that I set uh, from the start, trying to define a bit of, uh, you know, one floor, second floor, everything, and adding gradually the kind of architectural features. Ah, once again, I hope you have uh, fun watching me making all these kind of uh, squiggles to depict a kind of a gorgeous Gothic architecture of the cathedral. And once again, I keep having fun with it because I don't try to have every detail and every shape right. And by the way, if I was painting this, I wouldn't try either to uh, get all these uh, shapes. You couldn't. So it would just be some kind of uh, darker spots or everything. So that's what I am trying to achieve too, even with just a pen. Ah, can you guess what this is? <laughs> A gargoyle. <laughs> So this is my way of uh, keep uh, adding some uh, details in a really loose way. The point is giving the impression of the intricate architecture. You don't need to have each detail right, but having uh, something in a loose way bring more to the sketch and bring a sense of detail and refinement, even if it's not refined. <laughs> At this point, I am correcting a few angles, a few lines. I am searching for empty areas, a kind of a missing details, and I'm in search of a balance for the sketch. And now important feature not to miss the shadow cast shadow for the people. Cast shadows are oblique and parallel lines and shapes and they are so nice to give a sense of course of light but also a nice dynamic and a stronger contrast. Almost done, just a finishing touch. So my mission for you today is make a sketch in which each stroke looks like nothing but the whole thing looks like a bit of something, a loose sketch like we like. And Laure signing off! Thanks for joining the creative side of the force and for following this white rabbit with me, lovely people. Oh Notre Dame, laisse-moi rien qu'une fois Glisser mes doigts dans les cheveux d'Esmeralda